welcome to easy btech our guide for btech and beyond today we will learn about the problems on how to calculate gmr for more number of conductors let us see the question here find the gmr of a standard conductor having seven identical strands each of the radius is smaller uh, shown in figure also find the ratio of gmr to overall conductor radius that is we want to calculate first of all we have to have the conductor the conductor having seven strands from this diagram you can understand how to calculate gmr of a standard conductors now four conductors is over Okay, here we are having <coughs> seven conductors. The conductor names are suppose I am taking one, two, three, four, five, six, and the radius of each conductor is small r. The radius of small conductor is each subconductor is small r. Now I want to calculate what is the GMR of this case. That is the GMR of this case. Okay, we will go for the uh, formula. Okay, already you derived the formula for uh, GMR. GMR equals to what is the formula for GMR? GMR equals to m square the distances d11, d12, d13, d14. D one five, D one six, D one seven. This is from distances from first conductor to another conductors. Like that, we have to write D two one, D two two, up to D two seven. Next, D three one, D three two, up to D three seven. Next. D41, D42 up to D47, D51, D52 up to D57, D61, D62 up to D67, last one D71, D72 up to D77. Okay, this is the formula for. GMR. Okay. Now, what is the number of strands in this uh, subconductor? Is seven. Therefore, we can write the same formula. We can write the same formula in easiest manner. That is, m to root of m to root of d s one, d s two, d s three, d s four. Ds five, Ds six, Ds seven. What is Ds one? This is Ds one. Remaining second term, Ds two, Ds three, Ds four, Ds five, Ds six, Ds seven. I am writing in shortcut form. Now what is Ds one? D S one equals to m to root of 
nth root of d11, d12, d13, d14, d15, d16, d17. Okay. Here number of small m is equal to 7. Therefore, this one becomes 7th root of d11, d12, d13, d14, d15, d16, d17. Okay. Now, first of all, we have to calculate what is d11. d11 is a self radius of the conductor it is r r dash okay now and go to the diagram That how to calculate the distances I will explain from this diagram. Yeah, here the distance is d11. The distance what you get the distance d11 equals to the self distance of the conductor it is r dash next d12 how much d12 the distance between the distance between conductor 1 to 2 how much this the distance between conductor 1 to 2 is this is radius of the conductor this is also radius of the second conductor the distance from conductor A 1 to conductor 2 is now 2 R. Therefore, it is 2 R. Next, the distance from 1 to 3. The distance from 1 to 3. How we can calculate the distance from D 1 3. Okay. Here, we know the distance. The distance from 1 to 4. How much 1 to 4? The distance from 1 to 4 is the distance from 1 to 4 is this is R R R it is 2 R diameter next R total 4 R the distance from 1 to 4 is 4 R next the distance from the distance from 3 to 4 that is the distance from 3 to 4 this distance is 2r this is r this is another r it is 2r from this one we can calculate the distance between this 1 and 2 sorry 1 and 3 okay therefore what is the distance from d13 is root of the distance from d14 square minus the distance from d34 d34 square okay here the distance from this d14 minus the distance from d34 we can get the distance from d13 this is root of 4 r square minus 2 r square. How much you get? It is 16 r square minus 4 r square under root. It is we can get 12 r square. R squared under root. We can write it 12 is 
4 into 3 r square it becomes 2 root 3 r what is the distance from d13 d13 equals to 2 root 3 r okay now it is 2 root 3 r next d14 d14 from the diagram d14 equals to d14 equals to the d14 equals to 4 r already we calculated d14 equals to 4 r what is d15 how much d15 d15 is d15 is this okay d15 is also same of your d13 okay we need to calculate the distance from 1 to 5 okay the distance from d1 to 5 is nothing but d14 minus d45 4 root of 4 r square minus 2 r square we can get here also same that is the distance is 2 root 3 r therefore d15 equals to the root 2 3 r next d16 d16 how much d16 from the diagram d16 this is d16 the d16 is here it is r here it is r therefore d16 is 2r d16 is 2r next last distance d17 d17 how much the d17 is also from conductor to this seventh conductor here it is here it is r here it is also r it becomes 2r the d17 is also from the diagram it is 2r okay now we have the all the distances from d112 the distances from d112 d17 d17 now we will calculate the ds1 therefore the ds1 equals to what is the formula for ds1 ds1 equals to seventh root of d11 d12 d13 d14 d15 d16 d17 now it is the seventh root of d11 is r dash d12 is 2r d13 is root 3r d14 is 4r d15 is root 3 into r d16 is 2r d17 is 2r therefore finally what you get the seventh root of r dash 2r 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 cube 2r cube root 3 2 root 3r 2 root 3r 2 root 3r square into 4r this is ds1 okay now here we want to calculate ds2 ds2 is also same of uh, ds1 it is uh, d21 d22 d23 d24 d25 d26 d27 this is the form now from the diagram from the diagram i will take the same
okay from the diagram what is what is d21 d21 is d21 is what 222 is or dash d22 is or dash d23 d23 is to what d24 d24 we can calculate from d25 is 4r 45 is 2r from that you can calculate d24 is 2 root 3r next d25 d25 is 4r d26 d26 is this is the d26 it is d25 square minus d56 square again once again you can get it is 2 root 3 or next d27 d27 is this it is also equals to d2 r 2 r now how much you can get here the formula for this one d s 2 equals to 7th root of d 2 1 d 2 2 d 2 3 d 2 4 d 2 5 d 2 6 d 2 7 therefore here d 2 1 is 2 r or dash 2 r 2 root 3 r 4 r 2 root 3 r 2 r what you get finally it is 7th root of or dash 2 r 2 r 2 r 2 r 2 r cube 2 root 3 r 2 root 3 r 2 root 3 r square 4 r this is same of your ds1 or not ds1 and ds2 both are same what you finally conclude from the diagram is the ds1 of the first conductor ds2 of the first conductor both are same like that ds3 ds4 ds5 ds6 are same if you calculate, you can cross check, you can calculate any GMR of the conductors are same. DS3 equals to DS4 equals to DS5 equals to DS6. All outer conductor having the same distances. Therefore, you can calculate one term that is another term is there that is DS7. How we can calculate a DS7? Yes. We need to calculate DS7. That is different. DS7 is different. Now, now we have to calculate DS7. DS7 equals to seventh root of D71, D72, D73, D74, D75, D76, D77. First, we need to calculate D71. How much D71? This is the seventh conductor. Seventh conductor to first conductor is 2R. Next, D72, 73, 74, 75, 76, D77. D77 is the only R dash. The remaining terms 72, 73, 74, 75, 76 are all are 2R. Observe here 72 is 2R, 73 is 2R, 74 is 2R, 75 is 2R, 76 is 2R. Okay. Therefore, substitute those values in this expression, we can get DS7 that is 7th root of R dash into 2R, 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 2R. 
to r what you get finally seventh root of r dash into 2r power 6 this is the self distances of the conductors now what is the total gmr formula the total gmr of the standard conductor equals to seventh root of ds1 ds2 ds3 ds4 ds5 ds6 ds7 now already we calculated the terms ds1 ds2 ds3 ds4 ds5 ds6 and ds7 substitute here what you get we can get after substitution we can get 7 into 7 you can get 49 49 ds1 is r dash into 2 r cube into 2 root 3 into r power square 4 r this is ds1 next ds2 is also same r dash into 2 r power 3 into 2 root 3 square 4 r it is ds2 like that all the terms all the terms are same expressions therefore what you get finally and up to ds6 up to ds6 it is multiplication of the same term therefore we can get that one factor into ds7 is different therefore 49th root of r dash power 6 into 2r power 18 into 2 root 3 r into 12 4r power 6 this is ds1 to ds6 next ds7 is r dash into 2r power 6 this is ds7 this is ds1 into ds2 into ds3 into ds4 into ds5 into ds6 therefore finally what you get 49th root of r dash power 7 2 r power 24 2 root 3 r into 12 4 power r into 6 we know that what is r dash r dash equals to 0 0.7788 into r ok substitute those values substitute those values in the above expression you get the you get the total gmr of the conductor okay that is substitute the values substitute the values of uh, here gmr 49th root of 0 0.7788 into r power 7 2 r power 24 2 root 3 r into 12 4 r power 6 calculate with this one you can get 2.177 into r ok this is gmr of the conductor this is the way we can calculate gmr of the conductor ok next next question in the second question is calculate the ratio of gmr to overall radius of the conductor overall radius of the conductor ok now already you calculated gmr gmr equals to 2.177 or now the overall diameter of the conductor overall diameter of the conductor how much overall diameter of the conductor you can calculate here from the diagram you can calculate 
from the diagram. It is the overall diameter of the conductor is yes. The overall diameter of the conductor is how much? It is overall diameter of the conductor is okay up to this point. Overall diameter of the conductor up to this point. How much it is? This is R. This is 2R. Therefore, overall diameter of the conductor is 3R. Therefore, from this the ratio of GMR to overall radius of the conductor is 2.177 R divided by 3 R we can get 0 0.7257 this is the ratio of GMR and overall diameter of the conductor ok. So, this is the way to calculate overall diameter of the conductor.